हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन टाइप नंबर वन प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द गिवन प्रॉब्लम हियर फ्रेंड्स find the extremal of this particular question integration from x1 to x2 and we do have a functional here this functional is 1 plus y square upon y dash square first of all we'll check which equation is applicable we do have five equation that we have discussed in video number one see this functional it is independent of x let me write it down the euler equation first there are two Euler's equation. The first is dou f upon dou y minus d by dx of dou f upon dou y dash equal to zero. This is the first equation. And the next equation is, this is just a revision basically, dou f upon dou x minus d by dx of f minus y dash dou f upon dou y dash equal to zero these are the two equations euler equation i'm going to use one let's check the problem this problem is independent of x check in the problem we do have y square that means we do have y y dash square that means we do have y dash also it is independent of x since functional is independent of x dou f upon dou x equal to 0. Now check equation number 1 and 2 and see in which equation we can put this. Obviously in equation number 1 dou f upon dou x is not there. In equation number 2 we do have this term. Therefore I am going to substitute in equation number 2. Therefore this will become minus d by dx f minus y dash dou f upon dou y dash equal to 0 this minus d by dx will go that side and will become c that means f minus y dash dou f upon dou y dash equal to c we just need to put the value of f and we need to get the value of y here friends f is 1 plus y square upon y dash square this is the given problem minus y dash dou by dou y dash of f that is 1 plus y square upon y dash square equal to c this term first term will remain as it is because its derivative is not given we need to find derivative of this particular term with respect to y dash x and y constant therefore numerator is constant that is 1 plus y square is constant and we are left with 1 upon y dash square first of all friends let me tell you the derivative of 1 upon x square how to find you can write it down is it x raised to minus 2 then x raised to n and x raised to n minus 1 therefore minus 2 x raised to minus 3 that is minus 2 upon x cube this is the derivative of 1 upon x square why i have shown because that is required here see this for this particular derivative this numerator that is 1 plus y square is constant and in the denominator we do have 1 upon y dash square 1 upon y dash square derivative is minus 2 upon y dash cube equal to c the same way 1 upon x square is minus 2 upon x cube 1 upon y dash square is minus 2 upon y dash cube this y dash will get cancelled with this cube left with the 2 therefore 1 plus y square upon y dash square this is the first term this one this minus and minus 2 minus minus will become plus 2 1 plus y square upon y dash square in the denominator also it is y dash square because originally it was 3 that got cancelled with y dash which is equal to c this is very simple this is 1 plus 2 will become 3 therefore this is 3 1 plus y square upon y dash square equal to c what is the aim friends I want to get the value of y. y is equal to f of x. This is the aim. 
therefore y i want that means on left hand side i will keep it y dash rest everything i am going to shift on to the right hand side this will be 1 plus y square upon y dash square is equal to c by 3 let me inverse it let me take inverse in both the terms this will become y dash square upon 1 plus y square this will become 3 by c both the terms reverse therefore y dash square is equal to 3 by c into 1 plus y square my aim is to keep y dash on one side therefore y dash i need to take square root if i'll take square root this will become 3 by c into 1 plus y square as discussed what is y dash dy by dx which is equal to this is root 3 by c into root of 1 plus y square i'm just separating it final step friends what we need to do to get the value of y is it integrate is it integrate the answer is no why because if you observe the problem that we did till now on left hand side it was dy by dx and which is equal to on right hand side it is fx function of x but if you observe here this is constant doesn't matter to us leave it see this this is not fx this is fy therefore you cannot integrate to get the value of y hope this is clear let me give you one more method if this is the case we are going to apply by variable separable method. I will tell you what this method says, but this is variable separable method. First of all, point is clear. Why we are applying variable separable? Yes, because to integrate on right hand side, we should have x function that we used to get in equation in problem number 1, 2 and 3. But here friends, we do have y. What variable separable method says? is uh, first of all let me give you an example to and, uh, tell you what exactly is variable separable suppose it is dy by dx equal to xy same story you cannot integrate because on right hand side we do have x and y both variable separable says one side y other side x this is dy all y one side on right hand side we do have xy y will come down which is equal to x this side dx y will come down and dx will go that side for this i need to integrate with respect to y and for this i need to integrate with respect to x if i'll integrate with respect to y 1 upon y is log y and if i integrate with respect to x x integration is x square by 2 plus c this is your variable separable method what you're going to do is one side you're going to keep y term other side you're going to keep x term left side you integrate with respect to y right side you integrate with respect to x you'll get the result now let's apply variable separable in this particular problem here friends we got dy by dx is equal to root of 3 by c any of it's a constant and with that we do have a root of 1 plus y square variable separable dy upon root of 1 plus y square will come down which is equal to root 3 by c into dx all y one side all x other side here we need to integrate with respect to y here we need to integrate with respect to x if i'll integrate 1 upon root of 1 plus y square its integration is sine hyperbolic inverse y no no option friends you need to remember this 1 upon root of 1 plus y square integration is sine hyperbolic inverse y equal to this is root 3 by c which is constant 1 dx is x because root 3 by c is a constant will come out will be left with 1 with respect to dx it is x plus c which is equal to sine hyperbolic inverse y let me write it down root 3 by c it's a constant so you can replace by other constant also 
let me write it down as c1 we want y is equal to therefore y is equal to sin hyperbolic inverse will go that side and will become sin hyperbolic of c1x plus c this is the required solution we got y in terms of f of x hope this is clear done with the problem thank you